Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Corner coming back to you again today. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. I know it's been a, a while again, but I had to uh, come on here and talk about what's happening, right? The market has is totally bleeding out, as you can see here. Everything is red, right? But I know, I know for a fact that all of you guys that have been, if you're watching me, then you know what's about to happen. And this is the thing. This has been especially painful, right? This, I mean, look how terrible it is. We got Bitcoin at 53,000, Ethereum at 2,200, um, XRP down to 47. Man, it just hit another, it just dropped again. Actually, I'm about to pick some more of that up. Um, I mean, everything, the market is heavily, it, it's, it's just crazy. It's heavily red. It's bleeding out. Look at this. Everything is down except the stable coins, right? Um, what is this? Tezos. I mean, it's <laughs> kind of flat, but this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Look at this packs. I mean, the only thing, the only things that are somewhat up are the stable coins. And I think what's happening because we just saw the stock market crash, right? We just saw it go um, also do its thing. I think this is, like I said before, coiling up because a lot of stuff is about to happen. A lot of things are about to absolutely go nuts. I'm going to show you something that I found pretty interesting and it could cause a huge as they say earthquake in the crypto market but again I mean I'll tell you this if you if you're afraid don't be and before I before I go into this I do have to say look these are just my opinions and my thoughts right I'm not a financial advisor um, I'm just sharing with you in a entertaining way what I'm thinking about things. So with that being said, I wouldn't be afraid because like I said, I am about to pick up some more of my favorite coins, right? Especially XRP. Um, I mean, you, you got to, I mean, we have to realize, right? We had all of that bad news going into the weekend. And then, you know, over for a while there, when we go into the weekends, we were always having red days. OK, and then when the when Monday kicks in, we started to see kind of a reversal. But I think this is the max pain. You know, what's really funny here is that the fear and greed index isn't that bad. It's it's you know, it's it's leaning more towards fear, but it's not as bad as I would think. But let me just go ahead and uh, move into what I found here. So it says leak reveals crypto is braced for a huge BlackRock and Wall Street ETF earthquake after $60,000 Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin crash, uh, price crash rather. So I'm not going to read it, but essentially what they're saying, they had uh, the ETFs kind of locked up or locked at uh, I think one5 million dollar um uh what is it so basically if you didn't have one at least if you weren't worth as at least uh one and a half million then you couldn't buy it right i, I wasn't honestly I, I i wasn't sure who can buy who couldn't or whatever the case but according to this it's it's uh they're talking about opening the etfs up to retail which would bring it into a whole different realm and it would make sense if this is the case now this was this just uh, came out today uh, a few hours ago 8 8 8 a.m. Uh, on a Sunday so most people are not watching for this I just started looking a little while ago and I came across this and found like I said found it interesting that over a weekend on a Sunday this gets like you know let out and if this is the case, right, if this is what's about to happen, it makes absolute sense why we're seeing such 
a terrible weekend. Like this is, I mean, probably in in market value, it's it's not as much as we've seen before, but this is pretty bad. I mean, we were sitting around sixty cents for XRP, but look where where we are now. We're at forty seven cents. Bitcoin is below fifty five thousand dollars. This is this is nuts. And it's been, you know, I've, I've just been buying on the way down for, you know, a lot of the stuff here. But let's go ahead and move on to the next thing that I came across. XRP, uh, XRP's potential surge, could it hit the $5.8 trillion, uh, trillion dollar treasury bills market cap? So they're saying that XRP could be pulled in. Here is his... XRP and Treasury bills exploring a massive market opportunity. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that this is what is going to happen, right? We don't know. We see a lot of this stuff. I'm just showing you what I saw, uh, what I have seen, and I think it's interesting. Uh, but again, don't, I mean, I'm not saying this is going to happen. But we know, you know, crypto is not just there to be play money. I mean, to to um, basically drain just to drain people right in in let me let me rephrase that in the way that it's been used over the past few years right to drain people <laughs> they're they're going to step the game up so they can so they can hijack even more money i'll just say that the big boys that's what they're that's what they're doing right we know what's up we know that the whales are the ones who make all the money, but that doesn't mean some of us can't obviously get some of those crumbs that are falling off the table, right? So, um, as I said, this is very interesting, right? Tokenized treasury bills on the XRP ledger, right? It says that this, this discussion was ignited by Open Eden, a prominent to tokenization platform, which recently tells the introduction of of tokenized treasury bills on the XRP ledger, the XRPL. Ripple, the company behind XRP, has committed an investment of $10 million to this initiative. Treasury bills are short-term government securities that mature in one year or less. They are sold to investors and dis, uh, at a discount to their face value, with the difference representing an investor's earning upon maturity. Okay, so I'm not going to go into all of that, but the fact of the matter is, uh, it looks like these things are being talked about, and if XRP is used for this, we're 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 talking about some some wild things happening, right? Um, but again, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know for sure. I'm not saying this is absolutely going to happen. It it is just interesting, right? Uh, implications of of a 5.8 trillion. Uh, trillion dollar market cap for XRP. Now, I think that's a bit far fetched uh, right now, but we never know what's going to happen. I'm not going to hang my hat on this, right? But we now remember in the past we've talked about these things. What if they pulled XRP into all of these different things, these different holdings, right? And how much XRP would absolutely explode if that happened? You know, reducing that supply, uh, what's actually being circulated, right? And if we also get the uh, SEC, you know, if that whole thing settled, if that happens this week, because, again, I find it very funny that we've had this downtick over the past few weeks and then coming to this, um, you know, this terrible weekend that we haven't seen in a very long time. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like something's about to happen uh, that we are not expecting. And I'm going to tell you, be ready. Whatever you do, be ready. I, I know a lot of people are are probably, if they haven't already sold, <laughs> they're, they're about ready to. And I'm just getting on here to, you know, let you guys know, hey, we've been holding for years, right? Most of us have been holding for years and years. And we know that, hey, I'm not going, you know, we've already invested. If you, if most of us, if we sold at this point, well, some of us anyway, if we sold at this point, we're going to lose quite a lot, right? So, 
hey, me, I'm sticking it out. I'm going to see what happens over these next few weeks. Um, we know that um, once the Fed starts cutting, that's pretty much going to be it. So I don't think we have a whole lot of time to wait. And I also believe it's possible for XRP to do more than just 10 to $15. Now, again, I'm not hanging my hat on that, right? It's just what I'm thinking um, with, with this type of information coming out. Uh, now, do I believe it's going to hit a $5.8 trillion market cap? Mm, I, don't, I don't feel like that's likely, but we never know. I mean, if it gets, if, if they do pull that, pull XRP in there and they start using it for these uh, treasuries, I mean, who knows, right? But um, what I'm going to do, <laughs> what I'm going to do is once we get up to that level, you know, and I fully believe that it's going to happen, but it may not. But once we get up to that 10 to $15 uh, level, I'm going to sell, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to trade enough to to set me up for for quite a while but i'm gonna sit some back in my uh in my stocking <laughs> and then see what happens after the fact right after it gets there we might get a pullback and then you know it, like i said if i'm sitting on something really nice hey all I got to do is just sit and wait and see what happens, right? So, guys, we might be on the we might be on the cusp of something absolutely unimaginable, you know, in a good way. But you never know. We could we could crash to zero. Who knows? But I don't think it's very likely that we're going to crash to zero. That's just my opinion on it. So. Um, not to mention if uh, now I can tell you this, I fully believe that if if Trump does get in there, if Trump is duly elected, I believe we could see something in the crypto market that no one's expecting. You know, I mean, absolutely, because with that positive outlook uh, coming from the president himself and then him. Uh, putting in legislation and uh, pushing bills and whatnot that are friendly uh, and just kind of opening the doors for ex uh, not XRP but but crypto holders and people that want to you know have freedom to do this I think the sky's the limit who knows what's going to happen right um, there are other you know of course you know me I'm, I'm always looking at other uh, aspects of why and what could come about here uh, looking at you know things that are happening in the world I watched a video the other day this guy said that he's working in one of uh, the Tesla factories where he's a uh, he's a, um, an electrician and he's saying that they're he's doing the wiring for like all these robots and cars and uh, actual humanoid robots and all that and he's saying that it's going to be an army of these things pretty much taking everybody's jobs. So, you know, who knows? Who knows? Uh, we know they've been talking about it that, you know, most of us do realize that is what certain people want. But honestly, I'm not going to be concerned about that personally. I'm just concerned about what we do here because uh, if this goes well, I think we're all going to be set up well enough. If we do it right, we're going to be set up well enough to where that's going to have a minimal effect on us for uh, at least for a, a while. So anyway, guys, um, just keep your eyes open um, and sit back and relax. Don't get anxious. You know, just keep your keep your eyes on the prize. Now, if you feel like you need to sell or whatever it is that you feel like you need to do, do that. Um, don't ever let anyone tell you or, or influence you on, as to what you should do with your finances you you know you do your research and do what makes you feel comfortable that's very important here because i had some people telling me yeah you, you know you're telling everybody to stay with xrp and i've made money and you lost people money no i didn't lose anybody money you know i told everyone what i thought but ultimately 
I'm not in your wallet. I'm not making decisions for you. Okay. Nobody's holding your hand. Nobody's forcing you, anybody to do anything. If you decide to stay in one particular uh, asset, then that's your decision. Don't go around blaming anybody. That's one of the problems I see with this, you know, these younger generations. They want to blame everybody for everything that they decide. That's not how it works. You make your own decisions. Now, if you want me to take over your your uh, decisions and finances, hey, send me your money. You know, send it to me. I'll do what I can. You know, <laughs> I mean, you might not come out with a whole lot, you know, and I, and I do have to get paid. But at the end of the day, you know, that's all I can do. It's again, it's your decision. So anyway, guys, if you have not already done so, if you're a new listener, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the like button and the post notification button. So, you know, when I have posted again until next time. This has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves and God bless.